A couple months back, we did a video about the useful extensions for the Chrome browser. Now it's time to give some love to Firefox. Coming up, I will show you 10 of our favorite extensions for the Firefox browser that will make you more productive and improve your overall web browsing experience. Let's get started. Dark Reader is an open source extension that enables dark mode for just about any website. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of the Dark Reader extension for Chrome, and it's just as good on Firefox. On those blinding websites with a ton of white space like this one, having Dark Reader turned on makes them easier to look at. When you select the Dark Reader icon, you can turn Dark Reader on or off for all websites or for the current site. You can easily switch between light or dark mode. There are also filters to adjust the brightness, contrast, sepia, and grayscale. On Firefox, if you make any changes to Dark Reader, you will need to refresh the page for the changes to take effect. I'll point this out now using Dark Reader as an example. While most extensions are free, if you're finding an extension to be useful for you and you've got the extra money lying around, you should consider contributing to support the developers of those extensions. You'll often find the Contribute Now button on the extensions add-on page in Firefox. Up next is Image Search Options. This handy extension adds a new context menu in the right-click menu, making it easier to do a reverse image search on several sites, including Google, Bing, Tenai, and many others. Here's how it works. Right-click on any image, hover your cursor over Image Search Options, and select one of the choices. I prefer Google's image search, so I'll choose that one. Having this extension gives me one less reason to use Chrome. And now you can see all the various sizes and websites using that image. If you're familiar with the Amazon price tracking website, Camel Camel Camel, the Camelizer extension brings the price tracking capabilities to your web browser with price watch features and history charts that can help to save you money. On the product page of an item that you're looking to purchase, click the Camelizer extension. With the price history charts, it's kind of a mess. If you only wanted to see the Amazon price, untick the boxes for third-party new and used. The highest price this UPS system has ever sold for is $198.67, and the lowest is $94.95. Right now, the price is $144.95 which is somewhere in the middle of its high and low, so it's not the worst time to buy. To create a price watch, enter your desired price, email address, and select Create Price Watches. You will then get notified when the product drops below your desired price. If you're still using Facebook, this extension from the makers of Firefox called Facebook Container is a must-have extension. It isolates your activity on Facebook into a separate container, making it more difficult for Facebook to track your visits to other websites with the use of third-party cookies. Once installed, there's nothing you need to do to activate it. You'll know it's working when you see this icon in the address bar. It works on other Facebook-owned sites as well, including their Messenger website, and it also works on Instagram. DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials is an extension from the makers of the search engine that promises to protect their users' privacy. This extension blocks third-party trackers and forces websites to use encrypted connections when available. On this hideous website, when you click the Privacy Essentials icon, it will give you additional information. It's assigned this website a D grade. With their enhancements, they've upgraded the score to a B. It also lets you know if the site's encrypted and how many trackers have been blocked. If you want to turn off privacy protection for a specific site, just toggle the switch off. On this site, I'd advise leaving it turned on. Even with its outdated look and sometimes inaccurate information, there's no denying that Wikipedia can be a very useful website. The award-winning WikiWant extension optimizes the content on Wikipedia to provide a better interface and overall reading experience. This is what the Wikipedia webpage looks like without the WikiWant extension installed. You're all familiar with it. The layout is outdated and navigating the page can be somewhat tedious. In the table of contents, if you go to a section on the page, to get back to the contents, you have to go back to the top of the page. With WikiWand installed, you get a nicer looking layout whenever you go to Wikipedia. 
the table of contents, lives on the left side of the page no matter where you are, making it easier to navigate to a different section. So let's go back to the top. It's also highly customizable. If you go to settings in the upper right, you can change from a rich to a minimal look, along with other settings, including a dark mode. Snap Links Plus is a cool extension that will let you select multiple links at a time by drawing a selection rectangle. Those links will all open into new tabs at the same time. Here's a quick example. Hold down your right mouse button and drag a rectangle around the links. Once they're highlighted, let go of the right mouse button. You will now see that the links you selected have now opened in new tabs. For those of you that have difficulty remembering the keyboard shortcut to open a closed tab, which is Control Shift plus T, Undo Closed Tab as the name suggests lets you quickly restore the last tab you had opened with just one click. It also gives you access in a context menu with up to 25 of your most recently closed tabs. To open the last closed tab, left click the Undo Closed Tab icon in the upper right. If you right click that same icon, you'll see a history of your recently closed tabs. And if you go to more entries, you'll see a list of additional closed tabs. I'll mention this one briefly. Bitwarden is an open source password manager that stores your login credentials in an encrypted vault that will easily sync with your other devices. Bitwarden is now my go-to password manager and their Firefox extension works great. For obvious security reasons, I'll skip the mini tutorial. If you're the curious type, the source code is hosted on GitHub, making it available to everyone to review, audit, and contribute to the Bitwarden codebase. If you'd like to use an ad blocker with Firefox, uBlock Origin is the best I've used. It does a great job of blocking ads, uses less system resources, and unlike some of the other popular ad blockers, uBlock Origin does not get paid by advertisers to whitelist their ads. Let's take a look at a website that is overly aggressive with its ad content. As I continue to scroll down the page, there are ads everywhere with a persistent advertisement at the bottom of the screen. A primary source of income for most websites is ad revenue. If you're on a website that you would like to support, it's usually best to leave the ad blocker turned off. Let's go back to the top of this webpage. The uBlock Origin extension is currently turned off for this site. To turn it on, select the uBlock Origin icon here in the upper right. Select the power button to enable it and click on refresh. With it enabled, it will show you how many requests are currently being blocked. In this case, that number is 41, and the website sure does look a lot cleaner without all of the ads. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What are your favorite extensions for Firefox? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest browser extensions and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.